They'll hear us. We're fucking loud. <laughs> How do you fucking put a thumbnail? It's just us being jackasses on screen. That's our thumbnail. <laughs> That's fine. That's actually <laughs> what this podcast is going to be about. Right. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Podcast The Tangents. The Tangents! The T3G Tangents! The Tangents Podcast, episode 27. We're going to legacy numbering. If you don't know what's, what that's about, uh, go to the vlog channel. I explained it last week. Uh, so today... We're second gonna, one of the year, second, 2019. Second, yeah, baby! Yeah, killing it, killing it, killing it! You know what's not killing it? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So today we're going to be talking about... We're going to be talking about box office numbers... Uh, and we're going to start with... Now, you haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. I'm going I did, tonight. I did go tonight. see it. I I'm did go tonight. see it. But regardless, you didn't make the difference. It's not like your tickets were the ones that... I'm still going to go ...didn't see push it. it over the edge. Right. But... Battle Alita... Ba- I keep saying Battle Alita. Battle Angel. Alita, Alita Battle, Battle Angel. Angel uh, oh, boy. Listen. 28 uh, million? Let me give you we a little bit... It? Let me give you a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of fun facts that you might have not known about. Uh, I explained these to you when you told me, hey, listen, it's a good movie, you know, this and that. And I'm like, that's good to hear because here's why it should be a good movie. One, James Cameron's been wanting to make this movie since, Jesus, like the 90s. Um, ever since, like, after he got huge off of Titanic. Um, mm-hmm. well, I mean, obviously he did Terminator too, but... Titanic is really what what kind of like brought his name to the to the game. Like it, it really set him out there because I remember everybody going nuts over that movie back in the day, and uh, and ever since then he's like, man, I really want to make Alita Battle Angel, right? But the technology just wasn't out right. yet. It just wasn't out. So ironically, that's the same thing he said about Avatar. He had Avatar for a long time too. But the technology wasn't out. Oh yeah, that was so he made, made he before. made his own technology yeah. to work on Avatar, which well, he then, didn't make it, but like he he, he perfected he, he perfected right he 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 mocap's he, been around for a while. Yes, but his technology to use his mocap to make it as realistic as it did in that time yeah. is what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. not talking about mocap in general. So. He said the reason he did that with Avatar was because he really, really wanted to make sure when he was ready to do Battle Angel, it was good. Right. It was damn good visually, right? Because he really wanted to represent that cyborg fucking look. So, that's why you didn't hear about Avatar 2 or 3 because he said, I am not doing the next Avatar movie till Battle Angel is 100% done. It's done. It's It's... Now here's the thing, he did he did uh, give away the directorio to Robert Rodriguez, which is great. I have nothing yeah, against Rodriguez, Rodriguez. Um, but he also stayed on as producer and the main you know guy behind the project right. to make sure everything is going the way it needs to go. Dope. So now you know a little bit of background on how long this fucking movie was in development. It's been it's been about a minute. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. People also bitching. There's no representation. I'm going to go on slam here. I don't give a fuck who calls us out. I don't care who wants to talk shit back to me. Here's the Fight. thing. Fight. You want representation. Here's a badass movie that's been in production for God knows how long at this point. He comes out with another badass director. And they bring this out, this fantasy film that should be a juggernaut. And it's shit. When it comes down it to numbers. Opened, Ironically enough, million. from what I'm hearing, the critics are even liking it. The fanboys of the anime are even liking it. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So right now it's looking at 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb, 60% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is which is not bad not for bad. Rotten Tomatoes. Like, like, yeah, it's not bad. And 50, uh, 54 score on Metacritic, which I, I don't even know what any of that means. Right. I don't uh, know. But oh, the, numbers, the numbers are terrible. $170 million production budget. Worldwide. $137 million worldwide. Worldwide. Opening weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, was $28 million. Now, Here's that a, does put a, it in the number one spot yeah, whatever. for that the means, weekend, that means but who shit. Cares? That means shit. Go, go, let's look up another fucking fantastic movie that had a woman lead in it. Mm-hmm. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at Tomb Raider? What, what was that money about, huh? Tomb that, Raider. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, should have been easily a five... Hundred million worldwide movie. It should have easily been so on a million. ninety-four million dollar budget. Granted, way less CG. Way less. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
I'm shocked it was, it was so much less because it should have had so a lot. So sub 100 mil, it made 274 worldwide. 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 In the U.S., it only made 58 million. Listen. All the people that are complaining about there being a lack of female representation in, in lead roles and lead but blockbusters. But we want more badass movies. Um, listen, I don't They're know about you, I am a male, and that Tomb Raider Those was one of the fucking best movies I watched that year for entertainment purposes. It's fucking outstanding. Acting-wise, great for what that movie is. She did a great job bringing out the damn Dude, character to so life. good. It was so, so good. You're saying, and, even like and little, visually, visually, it was literally, it was like watching the game. Yeah. Like, like so many moments. Side scroll. There, there was, was so, so many, many like, moments like, where you're just like, moment. ah, yes, yes. yes. And <laughs> it's like it was a damn perfect game movie, almost near perfect. It's the absolute what best game movie ever. Yeah, hundred percent. Absolute best. And then somebody just came out and said, uh, you know, this is uh, I, one of the guys that we met at a comic con, Jesse. He does a bunch of the art. He said this is the best animated movie he's watched. The the Battle Angel. It's outstanding. It's out, I'm sure it's outstanding. I'm going to love the shit out of it. I can guarantee you I don't even have to go watch it. I know for a damn fact I'm going to love it. You know what else was perfect? Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell was the damn first movie just with more story. The CG was not as good as this. I mean, yes. It wasn't going to be. Right, it wasn't going to be. Um, this is James Cameron. Once again, James Cameron's been wanting this movie for eons. Like... I think it was a great movie. I think we talked yeah. about it. I mean, we did talk about yeah. this. It was a great movie. But you movie. know what else is funny? I actually, like, I, I would say, a female, I would put Tomb Raider above. A female personally. led role, mm -hmm. Ghost in the Shell, mm -hmm. still didn't make nope. huge money. Didn't make no money. So here's the thing. We want representation, but motherfuckers don't want to go see the representation. Yeah, because here's the thing. So what's your fucking here's, excuse? Because you didn't, don't tell me you didn't see here, commercials for Battle Angel, because I saw them everywhere. Here is how... Here's how Hollywood works. Hollywood is business. Business works by, by by weighing the cost of things versus the amount of money it makes you. All business. So, 94 million made, or 94 million to make it, it make back only 58 domestically. Worldwide, yes, it made 216. Right. So 274 in total. So with the budget, with the, with the production, so we with might, marketing, we might get another. We one. may get a second one because. Maybe. I'd say they probably made 100 mil. Yeah. 100 mil is yeah. nothing to shake your fucking fist at. Right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Metal but Angel the doesn't need another one, right? It doesn't. It, 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 it's supposed I to be... I would like more. Sure. Cause... But it's supposed to be technically a one-hit story. It never was more. The anime was... First of all... I feel like... So the anime all, ended like... You were kind of like, the fuck? There were so many gaps in the anime. I don't give a shit who but, sits down and tries to argue. I mean, Ghost in the Shell... You watch Ghost in the Shell, the anime, it's just literally about a task force going after a dude. No background into anything. It's, one job. it's legit it's one just job. a job. There's no... Like, if you fell in love with uh, 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 Major, you fell in love for no reason. She didn't have a real story. Yeah. In that movie, in that first movie, she had nothing. Yeah. It was just a... It's just a cyborg going to do shit. Well, to be fair, I think the, the, the manga was around for a long time. Sure, the manga, but like... How many people here in the U.S. read the manga before right. they realized Facts. what Ghost Facts. in the Shell was? Facts. That's Facts. what I'm trying to say. So, like, you sit down and you say, oh, well, it wasn't good as the anime. You're wrong because it gave you more of a fucking story to connect to that character. Yeah, way it wasn't just a mission. It was There was an actual connection to those characters. So, like, you're wrong. We can argue about I And I love animes. Like, you know that's my go-to stuff. Animes, I watch them all the time because I love them. But even I can say that there's certain things that are like, they just don't make sense when you watch them. Right. Like, I watched Ghost in the Shell so many times, I'm like, oh, that's what everything's going on. Like, because it was just all over the place. It was hard. It's not easy to there's follow a lot. when you're There's a lot of information. There's um, a lot of information. And, and that's the thing. With this, like like I said, we watched the anime recently, like last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was kind of like, what yeah. the fuck? It yeah, ended, it and I was like, like, that's it? Dude, there was just, it was so much. Like, this she, ends she, in such a way where, like, I want more. Now, I think the, the manga went on for a long time. I mean, yes, and here's what's ironic. It's You said this was a lot like the anime, but funny enough... when People like, are saying that it's not. People are saying that it has like, little bits of the anime. Right. But for me, like a good chunk but of the here's, story was here's, anime. Here's what's funny, now, though. Granted, Rodriguez obviously. said it's more on the manga than it is the anime. I'm sure. I'm so, sure, but like, I just know like 
the the like major beats. The yeah, major yeah, beats course, for me uh, are definitely from right, the anime. Right. But like that's kind of like you yeah, have to do 100%, that. So. 100%. Uh, it went nine volumes. It went for five years. Right. So I mean so, that's that's the thing to me. That's like you can't sit here and say you want representation, but then you don't see it. Right? You can say, oh, it wasn't a good movie. Fuck you. You haven't watched it. You don't know what a good movie is. And second of all, maybe you should uh, realize what the movie is and then decide based on what that movie is if it's a good movie. Not like, oh, well, I wanted an Oscar movie. Motherfucker, when are Blockbuster's Oscar movie? Blockbuster. Outside, of, outside of the rarity. Outside of the rarity with like The Dark Knight. When are Blockbuster's... And the reason, the reason their blockbuster, the reason the Dark Knight was a blockbuster, was because Christopher, uh, uh, right? Christopher Nolan is. The, am I confusing that? Is that that's the director, right? Yeah, yeah, Nolan. Yeah, yeah, Nolan. He didn't make it a real comic book movie. What? He made it a a dude like it that's was why Batman in our was, universe. Yeah, it was others. Batman, and I, that's why there was no supernatural. Mm -hmm. He said there was never gonna be. That's why there was no Robin. Because, and so, yes, when you make it a serious film, but that, to me, is not a real comic book movie. So, yes, did I enjoy the movie? Sure. But to me, as a comic book fan, that wasn't a real comic book movie. Sure, in a, we can say it's a different universe, and so it is. Right. But, like, outside of that, outside of that mentality, like, it's not, like, you barely see Batman fight. You see him disappear and up here you barely see the punches in the first one yeah, yeah, yeah. like you barely the see first punches one, it's happen lean. it's super yeah lean. super yeah. lean right and then like the joker was great but that's the thing the reason i got an oscar was because you've never seen heat ledger act like that you've seen heat ledger in a knight's tale you've seen heat ledger in 10 things i hate yeah, about prior you prior to that he had like it, when, when i when i heard heat ledger i was like as the joker I'm like that. Yeah, when they said that, I was like, "From ten things I hate about you." Right, like, exactly. I'm like, really? "Don't get me wrong. Like, I like the dude, but as the Joker, yeah." But then he pulled out literally he crushed it. The craziest thing I've ever and, seen. And I, I mean, like, this sounds terrible to say, but I also think part of the reason he got nominated is because he died. I like, don't. I don't agree with that because I think you saw a different side of him that you've never seen. Because you've never oh, yeah. seen I mean, him he did do. an incredible right. job. And I'm you not saw like that. you legit And I didn't you... see the other movies that year, so like I don't know. Well, sure, the, but the when you watch that, like I felt that dude was crazy. I thought he ledger went mad. 100%. 100%. When I watched that. That wasn't a dude acting, he that did. was just somebody went nuts. <laughs> like that, you know, and and so if you're expecting that out of a blockbuster movie, you're an idiot. Look at Bumblebee. Bumblebee has a young Female actress that's the lead. They did say it was a. They did say it was a re reboot. I mean, if you say so, but Hasbro. Like Hasbro came out and said it. They said it's a, it's a reboot. It's a reboot. But that doesn't make sense because he turns into the. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. They said flat out that it is a reboot of the franchise. They're gonna focus more on individual stories, so they're gonna focus more because they were like it's gonna be. Um, they they said something like it's gonna be focused more on Bubblebee because he's like the more like relatable character as opposed to like Optimus. You mean the guy that can't talk is the most relatable yep. character? <laughs> yep. That's the one. Um, That's listen, the one. at the end of the day, that didn't make the money it should have made. What was that? Let's see. Let's see. What was Bumblebee? I promise you if you look it up, it ain't, it ain't anywhere near where the money was for the first at least. They're making more. The first I mean, no, years. no, no, no. But that was... <clears throat> 458 worldwide, 126 in the U.S. It didn't even make its money back in the U.S. Though. Right. That's rough. I mean, honestly, that number is very surprising because for the first two weeks, that wasn't looking promising at all. Let's let's see. It's <laughs> it beats Transformers the movie from 1985. Oh well, that's good. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's that's good. Uh, but it, I mean, it's just behind the domestically. It's just behind um, just behind last night. And that's not a good thing. Well, that's not a good thing. But the drop-off's way smaller. Right, right. Exactly. Way smaller. Right. I mean, it went from 245 to 130. But regardless, the, the point is... is weirdly the point is, in order. why not more? Because more people should have seen it. More, more people, people that bitch should have seen it. Because there was clear representation of that. Multiple, should I say. Like, there was a... a, a, a I still haven't seen it, to be fair. Oh, it's great. 
I'm sure. Oh, I'm they sure. did a great job. I'm sure. Well, that's the thing. For me, it's a movie that has very short criteria lists. Robots that turn into vehicles that fight. Robots. That's it. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. much it. That's 100%. all I need. Yeah. Um, you know, the same way that if they were make a, you know, another King Kong movie, which supposedly they are making the King Kong Godzilla movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. For me, that's like, as long as I see Godzilla take a punch from King Kong, I'm happy. Right. I don't need Oscar winning performances. Here's the thing. I don't need... But are they going to fight? I feel like... They're going to team them up? I think they're going to team up. So I gonna... think at first they might realize, like, what are we doing? We're, we fight the same bad guys. So, like... Why are we fighting each other? Like right. they're gonna as monsters, they're gonna realize that. So let's fuck up these monsters instead of each other. Right. I think that's what's gonna happen, which would make sense because King Kong on his island so, is fighting yeah. giant monsters. Like they finally realize, oh, he's actually not the bad guy. He's fighting other giant Brothers monsters. Dude. Uh, and then and then uh, obviously Godzilla. Fighting other monsters to actually. I'm, I'm interested them. in the new, in the new guy. Yeah, but so at the end of the day, it's a female red led role, not making the money it needs to make. Yeah, it, it, it's. Guess what's funny? The new Godzilla is a female led role. It is the girl. It is Eleven it's from 11. Stranger Things. L. L. So uh, if that the... doesn't make the money it should be making, because that is a blockbuster film. Let's see, Resident Evil. How much? What were the budgets on those? Let's see the first one. What was the budget on that? Another, by the way, thirty. By the way, uh, can we talk about a crazy female-led fucking movie series? The fucking Resident Evils. Literally, all the men die, and the females, when they do die, they come back to life. <laughs> Here's the Somewhere thing. Somewhere or I another. Said, I, told, I told Erica. Back to I life. told Erica. I was like, I mean, we were talking about you know the subject then. Sure. And I enjoy, just by the way, I enjoy every one of those movies because it is exactly what it should be. It is Resident Evil. It is a I woman beating the living shit out of zombies. I've never seen the final chapter. It was, uh, I, I liked them all. I especially liked the final chapter. Uh, I thought they did a great job. Retribution. I think I have seen Afterlife. <laughs> Retribution was not as good. I think that definitely... Um, Trumped it. All I know is you have so you have series. You have a lot. I personally have never complained about there being a lack of female representation in film in leading roles in leading action roles because I'm a fan of Resident Evil, Underworld. I mean, you got the Alien oh series God, from love, back in the day. I I, like, I will say the first two Underworlds I love. There was I don't know if it was three or four where they CG'd uh, Michael in. For a quick, that was weird. For a quick 10 seconds. That for was a quick, weird. Uh, let's say, I think two gets minutes. killed, even though he's supposed to be like the ultimate dude. He's supposed to be the ultimate dude. Um, but like another great series that started off being a great series, mm -hmm. a great female led role, great actress, great visuals. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, it, it, it really. I mean, like, obviously, something like Resident Evil, the, the fact that Resident Evil's, the first one's budget was only $33 million, right. blows my fucking mind. Because it was a great one. It was a great movie. Great. It movie. had really good graphics. Really. Uh, at the time, it really did. Right. God, like, crazy. And it was funny because it was What's a great... It? What was the final chapter? What, what else is funny is... 40. Yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? How are these so cheap? Because they don't... Bro, because she doesn't demand much for a role she loves. She loves playing the roles. That's why she came back... That's seven. Funny. It had a smaller budget than Retribution. Retribution was 60. Dude, she came back seven times. Right. That's she could have easily said, fuck you. And that's the thing. Erica said, like, oh, they weren't good. I'm like, well, they made seven of them, so... And I disagree. Like them. Like, I disagree. The, what are you looking for in a chick killing zombies and killing the assholes behind the zombies? That's all I'm looking for. I, I, as long as you're... Pa Listen, you want to see... I you, totally turned you off. If, if you want to see bad acting... Like, she doesn't do bad acting. I think... She does good acting in these Resident Evil movies. I really do. I think her yeah. acting... Like, you want to talk about bad bad acting in a genre like this? Blood Rain. It is horrible oh, acting and writing. Right. It is the worst thing I've seen ever. It is a waste of time. But Blood if you want to understand what bad is, watch that, and then anything from there is going to be not bad because you've seen that. So, like, stop sitting here and bitching and complaining how shit's bad when it really isn't. For what that movie is, those are fun, enjoyable movies. Right. Like, sure, it's not an Oscar movie. I don't but need it, it to be. be. 
It's a zombie movie that has decent acting. And, that's and the it's thing. action and packed. And that's the thing. I, I don't know. Now I'm going to generalize a little bit here. Sure. But most women that I know right. are not into blockbuster action flicks. Sure. So then I don't understand where this like demand for more roles for more lead roles for women in blockbuster action right. flicks comes from. Right. Because they're obviously not going to see them. And there's definitely lead roles of women in drama flicks. Tons. Tons. Last time I checked. I can't even I count dropped, those. I, I've watched plenty of them I with can't my even wife. count those. I can't even conceive of how many of those yeah. there are. Like, most of those are that. I mean, <laughs> shit. The new Mary Poppins. That is a female-led role. As much yeah. as people would want to say maybe that it's not, it is. I mean, and it's right. a, 100%. Uh, obviously, it's named after her. So, right. <laughs> like, yeah, no. you really can't... And but that one did well. Movie. It's a family movie. It but did like, well. It did well because because it's a family movie. But it didn't do great. Let's see, Mary. Mm, Let's that's see. the funny I don't know. thing. I don't know. Here's here's why here's why Well is not good enough. By the way, here's so the, weird that it's a sequel. So weird to me that it's no, a sequel. I love it. I, love I liked it because it, 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 played it was, well. Blew me away. Played well, uh, production absolutely by, not. Production. That is that is not a good number for that movie. Production. You want to know why? That is a Disney movie. That movie should be a half a million dollar what movie. Was, what easy. Was, what was the most recent live action Disney movie? Uh, most recent. I would say it was Jungle Book. That's not fair. That's not fair. Well, I mean, it's not fair, that's but. Not fair. Um, that's not fair. That's a billion dollar that's movie. That's a billion dollar movie. That is a billion dollar movie with a freaking child and CG'd nothing. animals. There's literally nothing in that movie. But it's everybody fucking watched that, but Mary Poppins didn't even break, what, 400 million? That is movie that, was that what literally happened? him didn't break, Didn't break 400 million. Didn't break 400 million for one of the best actresses in our time. Yeah, no. I mean... Here's the thing. I think it was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, it was a little cheesy. It stuck to the older format a little yeah. more than I would have liked. But I, but I actually enjoyed it for that. Reason. But like, I enjoyed it for that reason, and it's it's you know honest. Honestly, so we haven't it's seen just, a movie like I feel like the, the the audience is way different now. We haven't seen a movie like this. Where yeah, you blend exactly. Live action exactly. And animation. Yeah, 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 we have this. That's type why. Thing that's why I old. liked it. Yeah, but I liked it. I don't know. I I liked it, but right. I just think that most people did. But it doesn't matter. Like, but again, if if, to me, if that took you out. That's to, fine, to me, but to me, like, it's not it about that. Take... To me, it's not about that. It, it's it's not about uh, after the fact. You can say that you didn't like the movie after the fact. After the fact, but, but go you, fucking see right. it. Right, but if you didn't see it, then don't sit here. See, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what? what's gonna happen. What? It's gonna be great, what? right? People are, go see these Marvel movies, but they don't see these movies. And so, yeah, if you pay Marvel to or Disney, same company. If you pay them to watch the crazy crazy movies that make big money, well, guess what they're going to keep making? Right. Crazy movies that make big money. But they won't be making these kind of movies where there's generally just one main lead. Like in Avengers, there's a lot of leads. Yeah. Sorry, I could have easily told you there was at least five leads in the last Avengers movie. There was definitely yeah. not one lead in that right. movie. There was multiple leads. In and that like movie. they, they want so Wonder Woman did a, did a great job, and I think a lot of. I, I I don't know. Like I I would love to see demographic numbers for who right. bought them, who bought the tickets yeah. because I don't know that it did as well as it did because of female viewers. Right. I just don't think so. Right. Uh, I think it did as well as it did because it looked great. Mm -hmm. It was done well, mm -hmm. and I think it was overwhelming fan support. And no matter what, like if you think it's a bad thing or a good thing, most comic book fans are guys. Right. And most people who have been reading Wonder Woman for fucking decades are guys. Yep. So, yeah, most of the people that went to see that movie are probably guys. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there was a lot of women. I'm sure. I'm movie. sure. I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing. But, but my problem is there's a lot of this shit talking. There's yeah. a lot of this like and, he, and here's the other part that, that I feel like I wanted to say it on Facebook, but I didn't want to start a fight that I didn't, that I have no, I have no dog in this fight. Right. But my opinion is that if you're going to talk shit about there's all this wage gap in, in like gender wage gap in right. Hollywood. Right. Well then female led roles need to make blockbuster money. hundred percent. Before 
they're going to get blockbuster dollars. 100%. They have to. There, there's you no have way. To. There's no way that someone's going to no no how... give no one's going to give Emily Blunt a, 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 a let's say they cast her as I don't fucking know, the new Green Lantern. Right. No one's going to give her fucking Robert 100 Downey, million dollars. Robert, Robert Downey Jr. money? No one's going to give her 100 yeah. million dollars. Right. No. no one. No. No. no, they'll give her ten. We know she's a great actress, right? But, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where because she statistically, right? Those movie, like at only end, one movie so far the, has end, done great. The, that was end, a female-led movie. At the time. end of the day, it is a business. Businesses are based off of stats. Yep. Stats for for movies is money. Yep. If you're not going to a movie and having that movie make a shit ton of money. Yep. That actress who led that movie is not going to be getting paid money. Yep. Because she didn't bring in you. 100%. It's just not going to happen. Sorry. That is a fact of life anywhere. Same goes for men-led movies. If that man is not bringing in the audience, yeah. guess what's not happening? Yeah. Mickey Rourke. Perfect example. The guy you know, looks fucked up. He's a good actor. He looks fucked he up. He does look fucked up. Let's be serious. Even he's he like, knows. He's, he's been through some shit. He's been for his, he says his boxing fucked up his face. He, he says it all the time. Yeah. He doesn't hide it. But we know he can act. We've seen that man act. Yeah. That man doesn't make money. No. 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 It, that man, when's the last time you've seen him in and, a movie? And you also, also look at it this way. Also look at it this way. When it, it's, it's show and prove. That's that's the rule. 100%. Show and prove. Yeah. Do- Downey didn't make five hundred million dollars for the first not. Iron Man. Nope. He was he just took that role. He took that role. He was just out. He was just off the heels of one successful movie, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yeah. And before that, and that a was decade even, of uh, and, bullshit. And that also that wasn't that successful. It wasn't that successful. Yeah, right. but it was good. And it wasn't a decade of bullshit. The movies he did were good movies. But they just didn't make money. They didn't make money because he had a lot and of money. And even he said it. Even he, he said it when he was on that... I always forget the name of the show, but it's like... It's a very... It's that one uh, like bigger gentleman. He's in a university sitting in front of a college crowd. I forgot what the name of it. It's, a, it's an interview show, but he sits down with him and the guy just asks him a bunch of questions. Hmm. Um, I know that one. Oh, come on. Everybody knows it. You know it. I just... Um, uh, uh, college? College? Yeah, it's it's a college. Um, it's like a movie college, but the the, the guy's a professor. At college uh, movie interview. One. Um, and uh, one of the people asked him, "Is like why why uh, are you man?" Or I think the guy asked him, "Why are you man?" Uh, uh, um, the guy asked him, "Why are you man?" And he said. So his reply was, have you seen, have you seen it, or not it, uh, Cousin It, where, where he's full of hair, like he's, he's all hairy. I forgot what, whatever he did. He's like, no, how about this one? He names off a bunch of movies he did, and it's because nobody, nobody saw him. And he said, uh, I'm trying to remember the... I mean, Google, Google um, uh, do Robert Downey Jr. interview, and I'm sure one of them will be one of them has to be uh, the movie. Uh, uh, what's the guy's name? I know, I know somebody. Whoever watches this will know what I'm talking about. Um, That's gonna be 2008. Yeah, it, will, it was definitely after the first Iron Man. And he gets asked, he says, uh, so he gets asked that and he says, who's seen this? Who's seen this? Who's seen this? Who's heard of this? And it's like, exactly. Uh, Robert, hold on. Well, Robert Downey, John, Robert Downey Jr. interview, Why Iron Man? What is his name? Now I'm angry at myself for not knowing his name. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to say I know what you're talking about, man, but like... Everybody uh, knows. College? Yeah, he's like, he sits, uh, uh, he sits in front of a, it's, it's literally a college, it's a full, it's a class full of students, he's on stage, 
the students are watching him. He gets interviewed first by the guy, and then at the end, he sits down in front of the class, mm. and then they get to ask him questions. Interesting. Um, uh, uh, Tony, Tony, Tony Stark. Stark, because for the uh, longest time, even he, after a while, ha said, like, I have to realize what's the difference between Robert Downey Jr. and Tony Stark. Um, but... Um, Uh, that's what I was trying to find. I, I did the college too, and it just. <clears throat> I Man, cannot believe. Interview show set in a college class. Uh, just uh, do this interview show set in front of a uh, in front of a class or something like that, that guy right inside there. the actor studio. inside the actor studio thank you Jesus I'm like I know everybody knows what I'm talking about I just have to say it um, but I think it's yeah, it's this one where he does like tap dancing and stuff like that. But there's a full interview with that, and um, and I'm like, yeah, that's a that's a perfect answer because why did he take that role? Because he knew it was going to be a big role. Yeah. But then he had to make it big. Yeah. So he could have done a bad job. He could have done a bad never job on an MCU. MCU. Never. He could, it could have bombed just like the Hulks have. And I'm not ironically. I mean, and I'm probably, did not bomb. Uh, ironically, no. The only reason that shit didn't work out is because of the drama between Edward Norton and uh, Writers Academy because they didn't want to give him credit because he wrote some shit. He said that's not why. In an interview, I just watched something recently where he said that he basically needed a reason to get out because he was trying to do something else. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. And I, was, I forget what he specifically. He said he was trying to go meet someone else like some like another director or something so like it was an opportunity to work with this dude who he wanted to work with see that's some bullshit if that's true i don't know i don't know which one's true anymore because i've like i said i've read also the fact that there was a big drama about getting a credit for the because he wrote he rewrote some stuff in the movie and they right. wouldn't give him credit because it wasn't enough or whatever um but yeah, uh this. but yeah at the end of the day realization in future oh. but at the at the end of the day he uh, at the end of the day, that's how sh this shit works. You want, if you want people to get paid money, you want them to get paid the right money, you have to go see their shit. Yeah. Like, nobody's telling you to go see a bad movie. If you truly believe, when you sit down and you watch Alita, and you think it's a bad movie, for what it is, once again, don't go into the expectations that you're going to go watch, a, like, The Departed. What up, Gold Moon? <clears throat> that's not going to happen. Golden <clears throat> boat leg. That's like mis misread that entirely. Golden boat leg. Um, <laughs> if you go into watching these movies and you think you're gonna get something like right. The Departed or anything that is a dramatic film, then you're doing it wrong. And we have great actors in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I mean, shit. You have one of the actors, the male actors, mm -hmm. has won an Oscar. So he's an Oscar winner? Yeah, he's an Oscar winner. He won it before DiCaprio. <laughs> he won it before DiCaprio did. <laughs> the doctor? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he won it like two years before DiCaprio won his. Regardless, at the end of the day... Um, oh, for sure, man. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're just talking about uh, Alita and its box office and, uh, you know, just kind of representation of uh, female roles and uh, you know how people bitch about that and a bitch about pay but then you know you don't go see it so you can't bitch about something if you're not gonna go support it there's two different things right it's like oh well you got to do something about it well I am I'm speaking up that's eh, not doing shit about it you can speak up all you want yeah, but if you don't go show the numbers yeah, for this internet shit, activism, it doesn't matter internet activism internet activism is becoming more of a problem then it is becoming a solution in my, yeah, opinion, absolutely. In my opinion. 100%. Because, yeah, like, oh, bringing awareness is one thing. And, yeah. like, the ultimate goal is that that awareness reaches someone who can do something right. about it. Absolutely. But it, but with something like this. Where you can do something you, about it. Like, every single person literally counts. Yeah. 
You have to do something. You, you have physically to. have to go out and it do it. It doesn't even matter if you go at the cheap theater. Like right now, oh, we have a cheap theater. Yeah, I paid I seven bucks for my ticket. That's what I'm saying. We have a cheap theater. We don't go to AMC. It's seven bucks instead of fourteen. Right. Right. So we say half the money. Yeah. So like the money. But it still counts. Counts. Because it is day one release even at that theater. So yep. that shit, that revenue counts. Yep. So, like, it doesn't matter where you choose to go. As long as it's on the weekend that it opened, go see it. Show them that you give a shit. Show that their acting makes matters. 100%. Show that them being in the movie and the lead matters. Right. And guess what's going to happen? Money's going to be there. Because, listen, if Aquaman, there's no Aquaman money, did outstanding numbers. Right. Jason Momoa could do whatever the fuck he wants for the rest of his life at this point. Aquaman nailed it. But guess what? If it was guess Aquaman, what? Jason Momoa, I don't know that it would have done as well. Guess what? <laughs> guess what? Jason Momoa, I guarantee you, he didn't get paid the money he would have loved to get paid. He didn't get paid. You Robert, don't think so? It's his second role. It doesn't it's matter. Second, second time doing the role. It doesn't matter. It wasn't his role. That was a Justice League movie. That was fucking all time movie. That was all the fucking heroes from DC put in one movie. That don't matter where shit. You know who brought that fucking... It definitely wasn't Aquaman that brought that fucking... It wasn't Jason Momoa. No, 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 right, but... Right, but the fact that his movie made a billion, or basically a billion yeah, dollars... What's it at? What's it at? Guess what? Now he's going to be making the money. Hi, Natasha. Thanks for the share. Yeah, for sure, for sure, absolutely. Um, it made... One point one hell yeah! That man dollars. will now make the money he wants yeah. when he plays that role. Now they have to still. Here's the thing. There's I no, don't see this. So I don't know if there's gonna be a sequel. Here's, here's the thing. There is zero guarantee that he will make the money he wants in a different role, because right. he has to now prove that it's not just Aquaman he can bring the fans to. Right. Now that his name matters, right. does it matter if he's in a different role about a different movie that has nothing to do with that? Right. And if it does, that's when he's going to start again. The reason Robert Downey Jr. got the money he did, which I still believe is an absurd amount. It's, it's ridiculous. But regardless, the reason he got the money he did for Avengers 2 was because... Because... He already proved Iron Man, mm -hmm. Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3 before that movie, before Avengers uh, 2? No. Okay, so Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, and Avengers. So he's proved... No, was it? I believe 3 was also out. And that wasn't even received that well, but it still made money. So at the end of the it's day... It, at the end of the day, he knows... They know that that guy can bring the audience. He's done it. Right. So he's going to get the contract that he wants. Here, here's one movie that kind of... And that doesn't prove against our point. It just It's a good example of how something can go right. Yeah. Lucy. Yeah. Led by Scarlett Johansson. Yep. $40 million budget. So super yep. low budget. Super low budget. So really mediocre numbers. Good movie, by the Mediocre way. Good numbers movie. would have done a good Once job. again, good movie for what it is. Right. Even mediocre numbers would have done a good job yeah, yeah, for 100%. it. Yeah, 100%. But it made four hundred and sixty-three million dollars worldwide. It did. That's a lot of money. It is. I, at that point, at that point, but when, that's why. When when that's you, why. And she, that's and that's why she's gonna make whatever money she wants because correct because she took a movie that no one knew about that wasn't an Nothing. established property. Harm set. So when Scarlett Johansson can bring in four hundred and sixty-three million dollars yeah. worldwide to a nothing property right. to a new idea, right? But that's, that's why she, fucking do anything. but that's why from now on she's gonna get any role that she says, hey, I want to do this role. My my concern is so this is the other thing. I, I haven't talked to you about this yet, but I just read uh, that the Captain Marvel projections have gone down. They're projecting a hundred million. They're projecting now eight. Oh, for for uh, opening, weekend. opening weekend for domestic. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the, at, at the end of the day, uh, here's the thing. Like here's that. the thing. Uh, Will Smith. I just shared uh, a video with uh, with him with you guys on on uh, Facebook. But Will Smith said something. He said Arnold Schwarzenegger gave him one of the best advices ever in his acting career. Yeah, yeah. He I said he said, listen to me. It doesn't matter if you are good and big actor in America. It's shit when you're known worldwide. That's when it matters, and that's true. Harm set. Worldwide budgets yeah. is what matters. Look at that. 126 million domestically? Who the fuck cares? The rest of the world, 336 million. That's what matters. 100%.
it's when the world knows you. It's not when just the U.S. knows you. Yeah. And yeah, I got a hand to her. I honestly did not know that Lucy made that much money. I did not know. But then again, I see Scarlett Johansson movies, and I will tell you that I enjoy most of her movies. However, except that one, except that one that made zero fucking sense of anything. Still don't know what the fucking movie was about. Nothing. I told you when I said when I told you not to watch it. I said don't watch it because there's no story. There is no story. She says three words. She does talk at one point, doesn't she? Three words. That's how little she talks that you didn't remember that she talked. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Listen, there's, thing. there's such thing as acting think, without think, talking, um, sure, but that her? movie had no story. It had no f sure. nothing. It had nothing. Ironically, I think these movies came out pretty close to each other, but Joy was another one that was a, 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 a female led by a blonde with a, with a but female here's, name. Yes, in a big in a big series of movies. That made good money, but that's the difference. But Joy was sixty million budget, so higher budget, but that's almost almost certainly almost that's certainly. her. That's her. But that's her the difference. Paycheck. But that's the difference, right? And it made. Did big, she bring in the hunger. money? No. Right. So did Hunger Games bring in the money, or did she bring in the money? That's the question you oh, have to ask yourself. Oh, as far as Hunger Games, I mean, like Hunger Games definitely brought in the money, right? Because but it I had a great a good cast. Job. I think she did a good job in Hunger Games. I think, but I'm not saying she didn't. But I mean, did a story, she? A lot of good things. But right. Forward. But did she bring the money? Is the question? No, no, no. And that's the thing. That's why. That's, that's why. The, I, that's, that's why I pulled this up. That's why you have to pull this up because that's how it plays. You, don't get me wrong. Robert Downey Jr. did a movie of his own. And this is even more of a drama. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Well, that's the thing. Robert jo and Downey Jr. did a movie of his own, and it didn't make good money. It was. Um, uh, it was where uh, the judge. The judge. And it did had a great cast too. It wasn't just Robert Downey Jr. Cost. That's the wrong one. That's definitely not the right one. This one? Maybe. Yes. So that's the one. $50 million production made only $84 million. Globally. Globally. So it wasn't. But here's the thing it wasn't crazy advertised. Right. Right? Yeah, he advertised it on his uh, Instagram, but it wasn't crazy advertised, but it didn't make a lot of money. But what was the release? But this was his project. How many this theaters? is something he just I wanted to do. 3,000 theaters. Like, it right. should have made money. Right, exactly. This is just something he wanted to do. But his name, neither did, uh, I'm sorry, who's, who's playing his father in Robert that movie? Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall. Yeah. So those two names didn't and necessarily Billy Bob bring Thornton's the money. in it. Right. There's Vincent a good cast. Vincent D'Onofrio's in it. There's Bro. A, yeah, there's a good cast. But it didn't make the money. But at the end of the day, he did show the reason he made the money he did for Avengers 2, not the first one, 2, is because he's already shown to Marvel... Yeah. What he's worth. Yeah. So he could, and Marvel knew that. Like, I, how are we? Like, we I gotta renegotiate to have him in here. What are we gonna do? Say no, and then I, not have Iron Man. I am still salty with him about Iron Man Two, uh, and Rhodey, and the whole. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Situation. You know, he he uh, he asked for more, and they took it out of. They took it out of. Uh, they, they did. The they other did. the other they role, did. and that bothered me. But that was his friend too. So yeah. um, that's not a little salty about the whole thing. So like, yeah. I, I think we could have had a way better Rhodey. I I don't I don't think Don Cheadle's a bad actor in any stretch. We talked about. Oh my before. god, no! Don, Don Cheadle's an incredible fucking actor. actor. Uh, I just think uh, Terrence Howard was was Rhodey. In every in every sense in every sense of the appearance in every sense. Right, of you definitely how like he, the... how he how he brought. I the think role out. here's the, that's the thing brought the role out. I think neither of them are really. Doing a fantastic job with that. Really? No. However, I definitely say that uh, Howard had a better appearance than yeah. uh, uh, Don Cheadle. And even appearance wise, like if you watch, or I'm sorry, not watch, but if you look at any of the comics, right? Howard looked as much as Rhodey as comics anybody would. Comics, TV show, everything. Yeah. Every appearance of, of, of James Rose. Right. In, we're recording. Thank you, jackass. Um, <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's just it's at the end of the day, it's all about what you can do for the franchise, yeah. what you can do for a company. It's, it's, and it goes it goes exactly one hundred percent goes to we talked about this before um, the 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 Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, it did not do well. No, therefore they are not making another one. 
They are making another one. Well, not that Just one. not that one. Right. Not with it that did, cast. It didn't do well. It no. didn't make money. No. And here's the thing. If you mobilized every woman to go see that movie. Right. Could it have artificially boasted the numbers that they could have made another one? Sure. It yeah. happens all the time. It happens all the time. Like, bad movies, a lot of people go see them, and they make another one. They make another one. Because <laughs> like, they thought it was a good movie. But guess what? Because they at, saw the numbers. Look at another one. Look at the the Divergent series. Yeah. By the third one, eh, yeah. wasn't doing well. It wasn't doing well. It wasn't doing well, and so we didn't get a, fi- a finale. See you around, Golden. And we didn't get a finale, and then it got canceled. And literally, it was going to be a TV movie. Did she said, turn into a show? Nope. She said, no, I don't do TV movies. That's not what my contract says. Goodbye. And they never did. No, they, Virgin didn't turn into a show. Um, the, um, it was the one with uh, like where they can see ghosts or another dimension people. I forgot what the name of the movie was. Oh, it was the, se- the, it was the third one. So the third one got split off. Oh, no, no, no. No, they never... What? They never made the third one. No, I could have sworn the third one... Allegiant was part one and part two. Oh, okay. Ascendant was the one that was never going to be... Yeah, yeah, so we never got... No, no, that's right. It was announced the first... Okay, so Ascendant is Allegiant part two. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. So, yeah, we never got got a finale. And at the end of the day... We didn't get a finale because nobody supported it. And here's the funny thing. The first one wasn't a bad movie. Yeah, it says the film is currently on hold due to Lionsgate decision to release the final film as a TV movie. So yeah, they'll have to recast her if they're going to ever if do they're it. If they're ever going to do it. But they're not. They're never going to do it. Yeah. Um, and that's a shame. And you know what? It wasn't a bad series. Sure. Is she... Did she maybe not... Some I, I've heard some people say like, oh, she didn't really do it for me for that role. Right. Okay, cool. But at the end of the day, that then means that there's no end to the series, and she's not going to see a lot of roles. I I feel like she also said something about, like, quitting? I'm pretty sure after that, she probably did. Naomi Watts. Um, I'm pretty certain Let's that after that, anything. she probably certainly uh, quit. No, that's not her. Bill Skarsgård. I mean, just oh, that's go. A yeah, just go to the freaking the first movie. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a, Woodley. At the end of the day, it is a money game. If you don't see the money, why would you pay the money? You wouldn't. That's that's the whole. It is, that is the whole premise that of is, the film. That is the whole premise of any business. Uh, oh, we we, cre- we created we created these toys. Oh, they're not selling. Uh, guess what we're not doing? Making those toys anymore. Move anything, on to something else. Anything. Anything. That's why... Oh, I... we invested in this project? Oh, nobody gives a shit? Money elsewhere. It's how it works. It do- Dude... It... Look at... Perfect example. You want to get real serious about it? Blizzard. Just off 800 people from North America alone. That's not even including what they're going to do uh, That's because Activision's a cancer. Well, no, it's actually the dude they just brought in, apparently, that's the cancer. Regardless, at the end of the day, they said, these roles are not making money. These roles are. We don't need these, we need these. For the amount of money we pay in these, we can get two of these. Get rid of these, get more of these. That is how shit works. You that's don't see the money, you don't see the financial business. upside, you get rid of it. It's business. how all business works. It doesn't matter what the business is. It's why TV series get canceled. This be Oh, we this, don't have enough views. We gave you a season. You this, suck. This being the the second film based on an anime, not counting Dragon Ball because that movie can eat a dick. That was not a good movie. I really uh, didn't this care this for be, that. this oh, being man, the first. We can talk about that. This, I, that's a legit. I forgot that I even. That's another movie that I, Can I help you? that I did not like. I want to go to trivia, but I don't want to go to trivia. That's not that's another movie. I also want to go to trivia, so. That's another movie that I completely forgot that I didn't like, but cuz I literally erased it from memory. Yeah. I literally So this being the first modern, the second modern uh, movie based on an anime. Yeah. And it not doing well. 
It does not speak well for I, I future pray, movies. I pray to God. That I know that Akira is still in here, production. Here's, here's what's funny. Here's what's hilarious. You ready for this? This movie is not going to make any more money. You know why? Because I don't know if it's this week or next week. We get a like a Marvel movie. Two weeks. So, guess what's not going to happen with this movie? <laughs> no, this movie's done. Yeah. This movie's if done. If it didn't make its money it's, now... It's... It's not going... It needed to make its money first five days before Ali anything Al else happened. If Alita... What was that? Let's see, Fandango. What's what's um, what's coming out this weekend, if anything? I forgot. Anything I forgot. prominent. But I know there's a lot. How to oh, Train Your Dragon? Yes. <laughs> Alita's done. <laughs> Goodbye. Alita's uh, done. That's it. That's, that's game How over. How to Train Your Dragon? Guess what? All the parents are taking the kids to go see that. That's going to be a half a million... Or half a Game billion over. to a billion dollar movie. Easy. That, Easy. That series is incredibly powerful. So. Yeah, no, that. And then you got, let's see, then you got, oh, March 8th, Captain Marvel. Well, guess what? Alita, Battle Angel is not doing any more at that point. If, if Alita's still in theaters by March 8th, I'll be shocked. It's just, it's. And then after and, Captain and, but Marvel, here, but here's, but here's, but we here's, get Avengers. But here is, here's, where my, here's where my concern lies. Going back to our original premise here. Right. All the people that talk about representation, all the people that talk about lack of what, yeah. like gay, when, the, the, the gender wage gap and everything yeah. in Hollywood, 100%. if they do not support Captain Marvel, right? I don't want to hear in six months about how Brie Larson made less money on Infinity or, or on uh, Endgame yeah. than other people. Yes, she did. Because I don't want to hear about it. Uh, here's the thing: even if it does well, yes, she well, did. She, yeah, because it's already done. It's but, done. But at the end of the day, at let's the end say of the, in day, the next one, right, in right. But let's whatever. say now, let's say this: this movie does four hundred million. Does it'd be gross? Five hundred. That'd be lean, right? Four to five hundred million. That movie should be a billion dollar movie. It, right. It's it. It'll be it'll be counted as successful at five hundred million. Yeah. Um, but it not, won't. It not, won't be not what that it should be. Right. So let's say it makes four to five hundred million. Then Avengers comes out. Listen, she's already filmed that under whatever contract she's making the money on. That's going to make easily over a billion dollars because, well, if you already made over a billion dollars on the first one and it's a cliffhanger and you don't go see the second part, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life. Um, so uh, it's going to easily make. Uh, Endgame's going to crush. Yeah, it's going to easily make crush. the money it made. Um, Listen, I'm gonna put aside. One. I'm gonna put aside thirty dollars, and I'm gonna go see it six Tuesdays saying, in a row. But so at the end of the day, right? So that movie is gonna make the money, but it's not gonna make the money because of her. No. So now you have to say, okay, if we release a second movie of hers, it's gonna compare. It's gonna be a matter and it of doesn't do good again. It does good, but it doesn't do what we think is good, right? Because Marvel I, thinks I, is I'm good. I'm at this point concerned that they're gonna do another Ant Man movie if they're gonna do it. Because it, it's not doing it's great. It's not doing great. It's not doing Marvel numbers. No, it's not doing Marvel numbers. You know? No, it's not. And that's the thing. He's it's like in the 90s, they used to say, right. like in the rapper in the rapper community, they would say, putting up Will Smith numbers. Right, right, right. And nobody's putting up Will Smith numbers right, right now. Right, right now, like, nobody's putting up. And that's what I'm saying. Nobody's like, putting that's up why, uh, that's why, more numbers. Well, that's why he's not going to make the money that Robert Downey Jr. is making, or yeah. that maybe even Chris Will, Evans is Will making. Will Smith was one of the first people to get paid $20 million for a single movie. Right. And that was, at the time, just incredible. Right. Like, if you were to... I, w I wish there was a way to talk to someone from that year I know, that right? just read that and be like, one year, someone's going to make $300 million in a movie. <laughs> They'd be like, you're fucking insane. That's not even a you're thing. That's absurd. <laughs> That's uh, not even a so thing. So, at the end of the day... I know we've been beating the horse, but uh, it's gonna like you want you want representation, you want wage, but you don't want to support it. It's the, it's a hunt like with something like this, with something like this, it, it's it's very much, very much a a pay to play industry. One hundred percent. You have to actively go and put money into it. Yes. For the for the thing that you're talking about to be a real thing. Yes. That's all that is to it. That's all there is to it, and that if you don't, then I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to hear about. I don't want to hear about there not being. And that's and that's roles. and that's kind of where it goes back to like. Like here's what, look what happened with Black Panther. A lot of black people want to see it. Yeah, all of them. 
Pretty sure. That's Everywhere. exactly how to shoot. <laughs> like, I mean, first of all, look, I, look I like, have crazy rich I, Asians. I, holy oh, shit! Holy that movie. shit! Oh my god! I can't. My bad. I didn't see it in theaters. I'm an asshole because I should. I wanted to see it. I when I saw the first Dude, trailer I'm, I'm, of that I'm movie. I'm behind in theaters. So yeah, not, I was like when terrible. I first saw the the trailer of that movie. I was like, oh my god, I want to go see this so it bad. It looked great. It reminded um, me so much. It reminded me of like a modern day version of uh, Better Luck Tomorrow. Yeah. And Better Luck Tomorrow was like because I love that fucking right, movie. Right, 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 right. So like to me, it was just a, a like the next level of hundred percent. And uh, and but it did what it needed to do. It did right? incredible. It did incredible. And a lot of Asian people saw that movie. They supported it, and they should have. Like, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you don't know if it's good or bad until you fucking watch it. Don't listen to critics. Who the fuck cares what they think? Well, that's the thing for Discovery. Discovery has its flaws. I'm, I'll be the first to say it. Right. I I'm like sure the show. it's not a perfect show. On uh, suppose, and this is like again, there's a lot of there's a lot of hate for that show. Right, right, right. right. Uh, by the way, female led show. <laughs> it's a female. It was a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent a female led show. But the fucking thing is, all the reviews are like overly positive. That's interesting. So people are saying that they're shills, that they're being paid to do it. They're pe- being paid to... Oh, talk shit about it. To, to, no, no, to talk oh, good to about it. Oh, to talk good about it. Talk it up. Mm, okay. Whereas, here's the thing. I like the show. I think it's enjoyable. I think it's... I mean, here's the thing. To me, it looks visually good. It looks like there's action, which I what I want. And that's the thing. And Everyone talks about, like, oh, it doesn't fit into Star Trek. It's like Star and Trek. I like, can't... Star Trek's boring. It, right. On a real level, Star Trek's boring. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you... Like, listen, I didn't watch as much Star Trek... You did, but I've watched watched a lot of Star Trek in the in the in the earlier days, and uh, it's boring as fuck. The best thing, the and I I talked, I I told you, and I don't give a shit. I told you, one Trekkie comes up to me and tries to argue that I'll be like, "You're wrong. That shit is boring. They're talking ninety percent of the time." I told you in two (laughs) thousand nine, the first time I saw it, I walked out of the theater and I was like, "Holy shit! They made walking through the corridors exciting." (laughs) Because that's the thing, right? Six, I don't want to say six, like 40% of Star Trek is walking through corridors. It is hard. Dude, walking through corridors and being in the elevator or simulation. Yeah. Like, that is literally what Star and Trek shows that, were. So, he ran, when he did that run, God rest his soul, when he made that run, I was like, dude, this is the best part. Like, right. he's just running through a hallway, but that's it's why, awesome. That's why, to like, me, that's why at the end of the day, if you're not going to support it, that's why the internet is a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because we can all communicate. It's a bad thing because we can all communicate. It's like it's a it's a it's Some a double, should... it's a double edged sword. Some people you all listen to these them. dumbasses that bitch, but that's all they're doing is just bitching, and they're doing nothing else. And it's like your voice is irrelevant because just bitching is irrelevant. Like you're just annoying at that point. Yep. But guess what's not annoying? Hey, you know what? I'm not happy with this. But I'm gonna support the shit out of it. Oh, the movie's coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna, they're gonna have my seven to fourteen dollars, dude. At almost every theater that I'm aware of has a five dollar Tuesday thing. Right. You can find five dollars. We Stratford Mole four dollars during matinee on Tuesdays. Like you could find four dollars, man. Like go see the movie. Like don't tell me you can't. It's, it's very, it's very frustrating. Oh well, I don't have the time. Well, motherfucker, but then you I, have the time you for have the time, Endgame. Yeah, well, you have the time to talk shit about it online. Oh, you have the time like, to sit there and be like keyboard warrior, motherfucker. But you're not gonna go have the time to go sit down and watch him entertain. That's the thing. Listen, movies are escapism. They get you out of this shitty world that we live in to enjoy something outside of that. So go fucking enjoy it for what it is. Don't go out there and be like, it just didn't do it for me. What What's going to do it for you? Your life? You, what, you want to see your life on the screen? You want to see something dramatic where it's shitty? Like where somebody dies? I mean, you can. There are dramatic Like sure, films. yeah. But like... If you think this is not good for some odd reason because of maybe like it wasn't dramatic enough, you're an Dude, idiot. Dude, like, get that's the fuck the... out of here. Here's the thing. The, and you, like, you've seen the anime, like so like, said, you know the story. Well, first of I, all, I, I, knew, know, like I, knew I, said, the, I knew the, like, I, I got the, like, it's very obvious the, like, uh, the, the, the substitute. You remove my camera, bro. <laughs> it's a bad placement of the camera, it's very, bro. It's very obvious that the, uh, that the, 
the, the role of the doctor is like a substitute father, right? Yeah, 100%. And she's the daughter because he names her after his daughter. 100%. And all so, like, all this stuff is known. Yeah. And, like, I got it. I got that. I got that. And you know me. I have a thing with, like, strong father figures. Oh, That's like it hits my... you. Bro, it, hit it you. didn't until right, like, three quarters through. She says something, something, something. Thank you, father. And I was like. <laughs> 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 but first of all, here's, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's, here's, <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Here's what's funny. Here's what's hilarious. Is he is a dramatic actor. He won a role for being he a is. dramatic He's a good actor. actor. He was in. Um, he was Lincoln. He was Lincoln. <laughs> like um, he was. Uh, he was in Django Unchained. Wasn't he the, the 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 guy in? He was the German in Django Unchained. He was the German cowboy. That one. Yeah. Wasn't he also in um, Valkyrie? Yes. Yeah, he was he was the he was the the like general or whatever. Yes. Like was ironically, like, I don't remember he, his it was name. his briefcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was his briefcase. Ironically, I don't remember his name. Um yeah, Dan, Daniel Day Lewis? No. No, that's not Daniel Day Lewis. No, he's got like a German. No, he no, is no, German. No. He is German. He is German. Oh, to to go to our earlier point while you looked that up, uh, Incredible Hulk was a uh, flop. Guy? What? There's a spot here if you want to pull up a chair and be on the podcast. Hey, don't worry about it. We got it. Nah. We figured You're it out. Christopher Waltz. Christopher Waltz, yeah. Uh, Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz. I'm sorry. Um, Christoph Waltz. I can't. Incredible Hulk was a $150 million budget. Globally, it made two sixty. million. Yeah, like I said. It didn't do great. No, it, it was a flop. Great. No, this But here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to play this. Sometimes we forget that Edward Norton was Bruce Banner once upon a time. The Incredible right. Hulk is such an outlier in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was produced when Marvel Studios was still finding its way in the storytelling department. In many ways, the decision to connect it to the larger universe seemed more like an afterthought than anything else. Well, it did. Still, when the news got around that Edward Norton was being recast, it was like a blow to Hulk fans and movie fans alike. And look, let's be clear, we love Mark Ruffalo with all our being. How could you not? The guy's just super awesome. But let's dig into this Norton situation a little bit more to find out what happened. When Norton's departure was first announced, Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige made the standard conscious uncoupling PR statement. Norton's people put out their own statement, calling Feige's offensive and purposefully misleading. Norton later confirmed it was his decision to leave the role so he could hang out with Wes Anderson and Alejandro G. Iñárritu to get all Oscar nominated or whatever. Fair. So that's, that was the thing. Uh, that was a Screen Rant video, 10 Marvel one, Phase 1 movie moments that Disney wouldn't allow today, which I don't think is true, by the way. All, all the stuff is like, Black Widow was super sexual in, in that one, uh, in, in Iron Man 2, and like all this stuff, and I'm like, yeah, but that's who she is. Uh, I mean, she literally... And they, 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 Disney was in charge I'm of the sorry, Avengers, um, so Just like, in case uh, you're confused, so there's a movie that came out it's, uh, with uh, the chick from Hunger Games, what's her name... Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Oh, you're she, talking about the Red Room. The, the Red Sparrow, right? Red Sparrow. Yeah. Red Sparrow. Uh, ironically, that entire movie is basically what um, Black Widow does. She is literally an agent to... She's, uh, uh, she's not... That's not quite what she does. She was a KGB agent. Okay. She was not, uh, she was not that, like... Um, the sex killer, the sex assassins. Okay, sure, but I mean, uh, but, yeah, but, she, she, but like the red room that like they talk about this in the comments. She was she was trained in the red room in the red right. room. Like she's trained to use. I mean, that's why in the first Avengers movie you see that at the beginning, right? Where she's like half naked and she's right. like, "This idiot's about to tell me everything." He's like, "I'm not going to tell her everything." Right, <laughs> right, right. It's exactly. a great moment. I no, fucking love moment. that moment. Yeah. But that's but, like, but that's the that's thing. her like, shit. Yeah, that's so, why I'm like, interested. Don't be, don't be offended over something that is like legitimately about the character itself. Like, if be offended if it was just thrown in there to throw it in there. Yeah. Like, oh, we just wanted to do that. Right. Like, okay. Well, but that was the thing. She, she was supposed to get Tony, Tony, like to, like get off the like get his shit yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. So she was. Yeah. Spo- she had to be his focus. Yeah. Exactly. Like that was the whole point. At the end of the day, listen, like. At the end of the day, I'm calling everybody the bitches out. Uh, I want you to bitch on this video or this podcast. Please, Please do. do. Please do. Because you are right uh, now. Twitter, right Instagram, now, T3G Media. Yeah, because right now, because 100% right now, anything you say is irrelevant. I don't give a shit how busy you are. I don't give a shit how you don't have the money to go see every movie. Well, maybe you should go see the movie you want to support. Yeah. 
right? So supporting Avengers necessarily not necessary because there's apparently 1.34 billion dollars invested. So why don't we take that 400 million and put in a little angel, a little battle angel, and make it a 500 million dollar movie? Not a not a 40. Not a 40. right. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. 43. Yeah, 40, 43 domestic. It's 137. Right, 137. Mobile, but that's it's, what I'm uh, it's 170 million dollars. So why don't budget. we take that 400 million that's out of that 1.4 billion that you're supporting already out of a big franchise and put it into you know an actress that's ba- trying to get basically her name out. Basically, until she has Friday, she until has Friday, Friday, fr- Thursday, Friday, Thursday night, Friday. Yep. Uh, because that's when uh, that's when How to Train Your Dragon comes and out. And let's be serious. And that's where all the money's gonna go. And let's be serious. That's where all the money goes. At best. At best, I'm gonna say at best she, this movie makes 230 million. At best, best case scenario. Best. Case I don't. Scenario. Th- I honestly don't think it cracks. 200. Worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah, I don't think it cracks 200. Yeah. yeah. I I just don't think. I like think I said, it's, I think it's it. fucking great. I'm seeing it tonight. I'm like, going I think tonight. It's fucking, I'm gonna go. You're gonna have it. a great time. I know. I like am. I said at the beginning, there's one spot where I was like, "This who else is gonna CG's go see it? Great. This who else is gonna see it? My wife. <laughs> you know, a woman that wants to support women actors. Because here's the here's the funny thing. My wife, you know, she's a theater major. Yes. So she likes that stuff. She likes to act. Ironic that she likes to go watch movies and support them, and pay to watch women act. How how fucking shocking is that? I mean, but that's that's what it should be. That's what it needs to be. That's that's exactly what it needs to be. I enjoy movies. I don't give a shit who leads them. I enjoy fun and good movies. Yeah. Okay. And you can't tell the me there day, was a single trailer of that movie that didn't. Look I don't good. give a shit if an alien from outer space says I'm going to be an actor. I'm like, man, jump right in. Just I, be, just make it good. Just make yeah. it entertaining. Good. We're good. We're good. Just. Fucking go see the movies. Stop bitching because you're not doing anything. Sure, there's a such thing as to where raise awareness. That's only so much. That only does so much. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're raising awareness. Sure. Hollywood's going to be like, we see, you know, people are bitching. There's not enough representation. There's not an equal wage pay. But then they're also oh, going to look at, we oh, didn't make any money oh, off this. Well, it doesn't really matter what they're bitching about because you didn't make us money. So here's what we're going to pay you for the next role. Yeah. Here's what we're going to pay you. Here's what we're not going to make. Like, like here's the thing. You think, do you if think... Wo- if Wonder Woman 2 somehow miraculously plummets. Right. Makes 50 million. Oh, God. They'll never make Batgirl. They'll never no. make... Never. No. They won't make the Harley Quinn movie. Here's the thing. If Batgirl plummets... Like... By the way, if Batgirl plummets... If it's Batgirl all doesn't on, do it's well... It's all on you assholes. On every single... Do you know who because is... Because that movie is made, being made do, because of that. Do you know who's behind Batgirl? Do you know the director that's behind Batgirl? Oh, I don't know. He only did the first Avengers. Oh, and, you know, he also did Buffy and Firefly and a bunch of other shit that people love. So, if you don't go see Batgirl, well, you guys are a bunch of assholes. Yep. Yeah. Every single one of you. Because he, according to a lot of people, I'm not one of these people. But he seems to write great female-led roles. That's what people say. No, he stepped down. Oh, did he step down? He stepped down in February last year. Oh, shit. Uh, In April 2018, after impressing the studio with her work on Birds of Prey. Oh, Christina. (laughs) Well, here's the thing. Oh, they're making the Birds of Prey movie first. Oh. So she's going to be doing Batgirl as well. Okay. So here, here's even here's even what's funnier Hi, about nope. that. Here's what's even funnier no about that. No here's, funny? Here's, here's what's even funnier about <laughs> that, right? So here's the funny thing. So it's not Joss Whedon. Fine. But he was behind it. He just stepped down. I wonder why. I'm sure DC wasn't like, no, Joss. We don't want That's you to do. Fine. We don't want you to do Batgirl. Like that would have been dumb. No. Um, but it is a female-led movie directed. Did I read that correctly? By a female director? Yeah. Oh, okay. Please tell me why uh, there are underpaid women that are uh, not getting lead roles and lead directorial roles if that movie doesn't make fucking money. 
Because I'll tell you right now, I, if that movie doesn't make money, I all think, of you assholes I think are could. just talkers. I think it could. I really. I think it should. Birds of Prey is one of my favorite series of all time. Right. Uh, they they had a TV series in in the right. early two thousands. Right. I fucking loved it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it came out I think three to five years too mm. soon. If it came out in like two thousand five, two thousand seven, mm. dude, it would still be on. It would still you think be so? on. Still be on. I think you're right. You know, because it came out before Smallville. I think you're right. And I think if it had come out I think after right. Smallville... I think you're right. Yeah. Game over. You're right. You're right. Because it but, was it was everything. Dude, you saw Lady Shiva was in it. Like yeah, be, like uh, Oracle, and yeah. she wore a, 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 like a exosuit to be Batgirl for a day. Oh, cool. Dude. And it was like the nine, like the, the classic right, right. Like 80s, 90s Batgirl costume. It was so good. At so the end of the day, good. if you don't pay the money... They're not going to get the money you want them to get. They're not going to get the roles you want them to get. They're not going to release the movies you want to get. Nope. Because if you don't support it, your words mean shit. Yep. Because yes, you can raise awareness, but if the numbers are still not there, that awareness only means jack squat if the money's not there. Yep. So, I'm going to go see it right now. Literally, it starts at 7. I'm going to go see it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to love it. I know I'm going to love it because I've been waiting for this fucking movie since... Since he said, I'm making this movie before anything else. Right. So at the end of the day, I'm fucking watching this movie. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy every second of 100%. it. 100%. I mean, look at just... And when you look at the... the When you look at the trailers, the CG in trailers looks amazing. I just watched... Like I said, there was I just one watched spot the I just watched like, an eh, Aladdin the trailer so where they showed Will Smith as a blue genie. And it's I was like, uh, it's not what the not fuck is that? Uh, I'm sorry, Disney. Did you see Jungle Book? CG, everything looks great. What the fuck is this? Let's <laughs> like, not talk about it. So I, I, I'm sure I'm disappointed in that trailer. I'm sure it'll. Look I know. Good. Here's the thing. I don't base my shit on trailers. No, of course. I not. know. But this that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't base shit off trailers. But the no, fact that I watched a trailer for Alita and I was like, "Fuck, that looks good in a trailer." Mm-hmm. What What am I gonna expect? Shit when I go watch the movie? No. I'm going to expect exactly what I just saw in a trailer. Yep. At the end of the day, it's got great actors. And I mean that for both actors and actresses. I call them actors. Sometimes I'll stick they all do. Um, and I can't imagine that it's going to do bad. I mean, who do you got in there? You got, um, I keep forgetting the gentleman's name, the black guy that's like the main villain um, in, in Alira. I forgot. He's a great actor. He is a I always actor. forget his name, but he's really good. He's really good. Erica, Erica said that he felt like he kind of was one noting it. She was like, he, he he's just like Cottonmouth. I was like, he's nothing like fucking Cottonmouth. Are you fucking serious? Oh, come on. Like for me, Cottonmouth was Cottonmouth was defined by his blackness. Right. This character happens to be black. Right. That's the difference. Yeah. That's and the major who's, difference. Who's the? I forgot who's acting the main. Uh, the, I'm assuming she's a villain, maybe villainess. The mom? The mom? Um, Jennifer Connelly. Is that who it is? Yeah, it's Jennifer Connelly. You won't fucking believe who, uh, who, uh, was it, uh, Nova? I think it's Nova. Nova. You won't believe who Nova is. I didn't realize who it was until it right at the end, and I literally think they had him take off, you'll see him, he's got glasses. They had him take off the glasses just so you see who it is. Because he has this, like, mole, and with the glasses, you're, like, focusing on the glasses the whole time. I can't wait. So you can't tell I who can't it wait. is. I can't wait. And he takes it off, and he puts a little smirk on it. And I was like, son of a bitch, I didn't realize it was you. I can't wait. <laughs> like, it was... Is it Van Damme? No. Now that you say that with no. a smirk, I'm like, son of a bitch. No, 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 no. Um, We've mentioned him this evening. Oh, shit. <laughs> we mentioned him this evening. And I didn't, I didn't know he was in it. I didn't know he was in it. Wow. Like never, never would have known it was in it. But that's the thing, my man. only thing is it, it it ends like so the 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 other one ends like the the dude dies, uh, yeah. yeah, the kid horribly. Dies. The anime ends with him dies, yeah. and that's it. She's just sad, and that's that's the end. Right. This, I don't want to say it sets up a sequel, but it kind of sets up a fucking sequel, sure. and I really want to see that movie. And that's like, the thing, and you know what's fucked up. And I'm because, okay. I I wanted to let him make a cartoon of it. I'm I know, shit. I just want to see it. Like, that's what's fucked up is that. I'm sure he had a great way to continue it. I'm sure. And we're not going to see it because people ain't going to watch. People aren't watching it. People aren't spending no, it's, money. No, it's, it's, already, it's already dead. I mean, it's, 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 it's already 100% yeah, it's dead. Done. There's just no chance, there's no chance for it. Like to, I said, at back. best, 
At best, it finds another, what is it, 100 mil? I just, I don't think it'll break 200. Yeah, I, and I believe Sadly. that. I mean, I, 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 would, I would agree with you, but I'm just trying to be optimistic and say it breaks another right. 100 million. So 200, <laughs> 230, 240 million at best, but it just, it's, it's sad. It's sad, and, and it's, what's sad is hearing all the bitching and nobody doing anything about yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. So that's why we that's why we titled this Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is. That's right, put your money where your mouth is. And that's that's gonna be it for this one. Uh we'll cut the broadcast since no one else is watching. Yeah. Um But I mean, I just gotta say it. It just it doesn't apply just for women. It applies for everything. It applies for everything. It applies for everything. But I was just gonna say uh, before we finish it, I was gonna say Star Lord. You think I uh, and I forget a lot of names. I can't I can't remember Pratt, Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. Um you think he was making good money before he did no, Star Lord and then Jurassic Park? When they, he when was they, a he was a he was a he was tough. chubby dude. He was a chubby dude in in, uh, in uh, was it Parks Parks whatever? and Rec? It's a yeah, bad Parks show. and Rec. I don't like those. And shows. then he got fit to do that military movie, which uh, I think it was Michael Bay's military movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which zero zero dark. He wasn't the main actor, so it didn't really matter. Like I didn't even realize until they said. I was like, oh shit. He was in that movie. Well, I kind of, kind of want to watch it, but you know why? Because he I already saw Star Lord. Right. So I'm like, oh, now I kind of want to watch it. Not saying that Chris Pratt was a bad actor at some point, but at the end of the day, until I saw him as Star Lord, why would I care who Chris Pratt was? Right. One hundred percent. So it, it applies to everybody. If you're not gonna pay for the money, or if you're not gonna pay and and show them the money, they're not gonna give a shit to pay no. these people. No, any that's kind that's of money. why that's why they're re re. Re rebooting Ghostbusters. Yeah, uh, that's why. That, they, Here's the thing: I didn't have a major we'll never, problem. Yeah, I didn't have a major problem with it. It was I enjoyable. Watched, like, I was it was enjoyable. enjoyable. It was by the numbers. It was the yeah. Little, it was by the numbers. But, I liked the visuals. Like I didn't like. Yeah. I didn't hate it. But it was I, I, I found I found uh, Hemsworth funny. Like I thought he was funny. Really? Yeah, I thought it was I thought, funny. I, I really thought they rested on that, like, he's so stupid thing. Like, But I was okay with that. I was okay. Let him play but the like, little the dumb at, dude. At the end of the day, it didn't make money. It, it had, didn't make it money. It had a lot of hate. They're going to put it on all the on, on all the, on all the the chauvinistic males because they didn't want to go see the movie. Of course. And I just, I, I honestly truly think that that's not where the, the blame is. No. It's because, it, because you can't say that you want, that you can't, Say shit like that, but then say that like they don't have power over you. Right. Like you just can't. No, hundred percent. You there's no way you like, can't do that. If you're gonna say like because men didn't go see it, it did not make money. Well, then that means men have all purchase power. Right. Which isn't true. Which isn't true. I know lots of lots of women. No. My wife usually has more money than I do. I'm saying <laughs> my wife hundred percent has more money than I do. So like that that's not that's not that's not, that those aren't facts. Those aren't facts. They're like, not. If facts. you were if you were to say that that. Like a movie didn't make money, and because it was female led, it was because men didn't go see it. Well, then you're saying that men make all the fucking decisions about like what gets made, and then you can't complain about it because if you're not going out there and supporting Ironically it. Ironically enough, I'll, I'll, you know what? Every time I go see a movie that might be female led, uh, I see a pretty good chunk of men, but I'm not seeing a good chunk of women. Like, like we said earlier, uh, I think. In my experience, most women that I've met do not like big blockbuster action stuff, which is fine. Which is that. fine, but then I don't I, like. I, then I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the because, lack of su female because, superheroes, right, lack of this, lack of right. That. Because here's the thing: them getting dramatic movies, sure, they can get dramatic movies, dramatic comedy, but but like, but they don't make a shit ton of money. It's right. very rare that dramatic movies or even comedies make a shit ton of money. Crazy rich Asians. That's unique. That doesn't normally happen yeah, with comedy. The best, the other, like the, the next best comedy. What maybe Hangover? Hangover. That's what and I'm saying. It was it was Jackass the movie. Like right. <laughs> it was it was that when kids were even you know. I'm no, not, no. I just mean like that movie was right, like right. It, was, it was the show Jackass as a movie. Right, right. Like let's just what are the craziest yeah. shit you can come up with. Put these dudes in that situation. There's a tiger, like, and like I said, fucking Mike Tyson's in it, like all sorts of dumb shit. We keep saying that, so. What it End is. of the day, put your money away. I'm gonna go watch it. I'm gonna go pay. Uh, yeah, your wife's uh, calling. Yeah, she's calling me because we gotta go watch it. We so, gotta go see it. And, uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you hear great things from. I'm you. gonna enjoy it. Uh, we'll talk. We'll it. talk about it next week. Uh, yeah, yeah. In a little we can more go. Detail. Yeah, we can go in full detail. But, uh, like, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna go see the movie. I'm. 
possibly going to go to trivia, apparently. Tri uh, so, no. I don't know. I feel like there was there was there was room for for trivia for trivia. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see this, and then I'm gonna go see Captain Marvel as soon as that comes 100%, out. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm probably gonna. Here's the thing: I see movies multiple times, oh. and depending how good Captain Marvel is, I might see it more than once. Yeah. So I'm like I said, I'm I'm down for I'm down for multiple viewings of Infinity War because I I or, yeah. if, or event game because I watched Infinity War so many times and I got so much out of it every single time. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm down for multiple viewings of that. So, yeah, yeah. It's it's just, I guess it's just gonna depend on like what. Like I, I want it to be good. I want it to be really good. I'm telling you right now, I'm going with high expectations for Captain Marvel, and I oh, don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. But I, I know it's not gonna get ruined. It's I, not gonna be bad. Right. Like, it's, it's not gonna, gonna be a bad, bad movie. movie. And here's the thing. I truly believe. I truly believe. I didn't go with high expectations for Ant Man. I didn't go in hating Ant Man. I just knew it wasn't going to be a movie that it was going to be for me, and I was right. It wasn't like my my movie that I wanted from Ant Man, but it was still a comic book movie. I so like, it. so at the end of the day, like I know why it didn't make a lot of money, but it still made money. Right. So like, it, this movie needs to make, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't break what I'm saying, it's going to break. If well, it doesn't, we were, we were talking, we, if we it doesn't do anywhere time. between 850 million to a billion dollars, I think if it's sub 750, I'll be disappointed. Hundred percent, I'll be genuinely disappointed. Hundred percent. If that movie does not break 750, what the fuck? That's gonna be it. Oh, and by the way, uh, stop listening to fucking critics. If that's what you're basing yeah, your own fuck decisions on going to see movies, you're an idiot. Fuck critics. We're not Criti critics. Cri cri We're not whole, critics. We're fucking the, fans. No, yeah. The whole point of critics is like, especially nowadays, apparently, if you don't hate on a movie, you are not a good critic. Or so, you're or you're paid. Like or you're or you're paid. Or you're paid. Apparently. Uh, so that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for listening, for watching. Did we get paid uh, for sure. loving Alita? Right. I didn't I even go so. watch it. But did so. we just get paid for this? I wish. I Man, wish. what was our pay? Call James Cameron. I need to go. I need to contact <laughs> Rodriguez and James Cameron. Who's who's the studio behind it? I need to contact all of them. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.